Dear all, thanks for tuning in to the last week's Cybersecurity News Digest. Let's zoom in on the main news from the 28th of October to the 4th of November 2024. Cisco disclosed that a misconfiguration in its public-facing DevHub portal allowed unauthorized access to non-public files. The company stated that the leaked information does not contain data that could be exploited in future breaches of its systems. A new ransomware operation named Interlock has been identified, targeting organizations worldwide by creating an encryptor specifically for FreeBSD servers. This development highlights the expanding focus of ransomware groups on diverse operating systems. A recently disclosed Microsoft SharePoint Remote Code Execution or RCE vulnerability tracked as CVE 2024-38094 is being actively exploited to gain initial access to corporate networks. Organizations are advised to apply available patches promptly to mitigate this risk. Synology's swift response to zero-day exploits. Synology, a Taiwanese network-attached storage appliance maker, patched two critical zero-day vulnerabilities exploited during the P2N2 own hacking competition within days. This rapid response underscores the company's commitment to security. Seizure of DDoS platform dstat.cc and arrests. Law enforcement agencies seized the dstat.cc DDoS review platform and arrested two suspects. The service had been facilitating distributed denial of service attacks for years, impacting various online services. Sophos's ongoing battle with Chinese hackers. Sophos disclosed a series of reports detailing a five-year struggle with Chinese threat actors targeting networking devices worldwide, including those from Sophos. The reports highlight the persistent and evolving nature of cyber threats from state-sponsored groups. As of November 4th, 2024, the following Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, or CVEs, with a Common Vulnerability Scoring System score higher than 8.5, have been reported in the past week. CVE 2024-21674. This high-severity remote code execution vulnerability was introduced in version 7.13.0 of Confluence Data Center and Server. It allows an unauthenticated attacker to expose assets in your environment susceptible to exploitation, which has high impact to confidentiality, no impact to integrity, no impact to availability, and does not require user interaction. Atlassian recommends that Confluence data center and server customers upgrade to the latest version. CVSS score 8.6 high, reference NVD, CVE 2024-21674. CV 2024-45411. Twig is a template language for PHP. Under some circumstances, the sandbox security checks are not run, which allows user-contributed templates to bypass the sandbox restrictions. This vulnerability is fixed in versions 1.44.8, 2.16.1, and 3.14.0. CVSS score 8.6, high. Please like, share and subscribe to support the YouTube channel. Talk to you soon.